Hello, I am Tara from livingonadime.com with my husband Michael. Hi! Today we are talking about 10 things you should never buy at the grocery store. What? Never, ever, ever. Whoa. Never. I mean never. I have never purchased these things at the grocery store. Never? Never. Wow, I hope I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the 10 things we don't buy. One, kitchen utensils. What? So you know that wonderful little section where they have all the cool baking pans and utensils and everything? Don't shop there. At the grocery store. At the grocery store. Super but you still expensive. Use kitchen utensils. I do. Now, I will say I have one time purchased a stock pot that was on clearance there. But as a general rule, I don't buy anything that are kitchen utensils in general. Just go in if I need something, need a spatula or whatever. I do not buy it there. I wait to get it at Walmart or online if it's cheaper, but do not buy it at the grocery store. Number two, batteries. Mm. Have you ever bought batteries at the grocery store? Only in an emergency. Oh man. Well, I have never purchased batteries at a grocery store. Huge markup. They know you're in a hurry. I know your kids have 3,000 toys that need batteries, but guys, they can live without their batteries in their toys. You do not need to buy them right then. Once again, a huge markup because they know that you're in a hurry and they're just trying to get that extra money out of you. Don't. So batteries. It's a convenience. Yeah. Batteries, huge waste of money at the grocery store. So you're not saying don't buy these things at all. You're just saying don't buy them at the grocery store. At the grocery store. There you go. Okay. Pre cut produce. Oh, you mean where they slice it for you for $4 extra? Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. You can get your pre-sliced -pro pre produce and pay, what, five bucks extra, somewhere around there, $4? Is it really $4? frightfully expensive. Oh, it's like, I want to say it's like $15 for a thing of um, a cantaloupe and pineapple yeah. that's sliced. No, that's crazy. Which is how much if it's not sliced? Well, I can usually get it for a dollar a pound or less. And if it's $4 a pound, that is a huge markup. And think about it. It literally takes me two minutes to cut up an entire cantaloupe. Maybe four to five minutes to cut up an entire watermelon that we eat on for not quite a week, probably four or five days. So take that extra two or three minutes, calculate that out. If you have to spend an extra $4 on pre-cut produce, but you're making $10 an hour, you just worked a half an hour to save you three minutes worth of work. Yep. Is it worth it? No. It's not worth it. Number two, or number, oh, I lost my number count. Oops. One, two, three. Number four. Bottled water. Oh, I remember thinking, who would ever pay for water? <laughs> okay, we're old enough now that we look at bottled water and we're like, you're kidding me, right? Now. Don't give me no lip. I know all you people. I have lived there myself. I lived in Texas. I lived in Kansas on a well. The water was nasty. It was nasty. We still did not buy bottled water. What did we do, dear? Well, we had a we had a water filter pitcher. We had a water filter pitcher. <clears throat> and one place where we couldn't get any good water in the house at all, <laughs> I would bring uh, jugs to work and fill up water there because they didn't care. Yep. <laughs> but... They also, we also could go to the store and for a pretty low price, yeah. we could buy filtered water from their water machine and put it in our own jugs. Yeah. And it was like 5% of the cost. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous to buy bottled water, period. Don't give me no lip. It's ridiculous. And if you, you live in the mountains in Colorado, <laughs> your water's better right from the tap than a <laughs> bottle is. where they bottle it in, yeah, it is. in a large city somewhere at the very yeah. edge of the coast. And the thing is, most people have filters on the refrigerators now. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy. So get you a filter if you just absolutely have the nastiest water in the whole world. That's fine. I totally understand that. Get you a filter. Use your filter on your refrigerator. But there really is no need to buy bottled water at all, period. Well, and the bottles are really, it's really expensive to buy it as a bottled Yep. In, in bottles individually. Mm -hmm. And yep. if you're a person who is very concerned about the environment and all that, you're throwing away an awful lot of bottles. Yeah. Yeah. That drives me crazy. Yeah. So, next one. And even if you recycle them, you're still basically, I mean, it expends a lot of energy. So Yeah. It uses a lot of energy that we don't need to use anyway. Diapers. 
Dun, dun, dun. I have Don't never, buy them at the grocery store. I have never purchased diapers at the grocery store. I had two kids in cloth diapers and I had two kids in disposable diapers. Never, ever, ever bought them at the grocery store. Either get them at Walmart or your warehouse store if you want, if it's cheaper, but you can get them online now. You can even get them online with a subscription service so you don't have to worry about thinking about it. They just deliver them every day. Stop buying diapers at the grocery store. Cleaning products. Really? I don't buy cleaning products at the grocery store. Why? Because there's a huge markup and it's a huge waste of money. Get it at Walmart or make your own using our Dining on a Dime cookbook recipes right here. We have homemade window cleaner, homemade countertop and disinfectant. Costs you literally five to 10 cents to make a huge bottle. Stop buying cleaning products at the grocery store. We even have homemade cleaning wipes in here. Yes, we do. Storage containers. Ooh, don't buy them at the grocery store. I was at this grocery store today and they had laundry baskets. <gasps> How no, much were they? They were $20. How much are they at the other Ten. place? Wow, so they were double the price. Yeah, don't buy storage containers. I know they're cute and I know they have some really good things. Now, I will put a disclaimer here and say, I have actually looked at storage containers at the grocery store because I needed something very specific, a specific size, and I could not find it anywhere. Now, I didn't find it at the grocery store, <laughs> but I did look. But never buy storage containers. They're way overpriced. It's ridiculous. You don't need to buy them there. Don't buy them at the grocery store, yeah. Mm -mm. Nope, next, makeup. Ooh, see, I never buy my makeup there. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> No response to that. <laughs> so, makeup. Don't buy it at the grocery store. <laughs> Huge waste of money. Once again, I it's almost double the price at my grocery store if I get it on sale at Walgreens, Walmart, wherever. Don't buy it at the grocery store. Overpriced once again. Pet food. Ooh. That's one people don't think of. Pet food. Does now, it cost more at the grocery store? It does. Hmm, I wouldn't have guessed. So, our dog has to be on a special grain-free diet, or not grain-free, but wheat, dairy, and gluten-free diet. I know, but he itches if we put him on corn and wheat and all that good stuff. So, that same food, which is at Walmart, is five to eight dollars cheaper at the grocery store. More expensive at the grocery mm -hmm. store. That's why I said. You said it's cheaper at the grocery store. Oh, more expensive, excuse <clears throat> me. More expensive at the grocery store. It's cheaper at those other places other than getting it at the grocery store. Number 10. Now, this one my family does not appreciate, but with the exception of special occasions, which is maybe three to four times a year, I don't buy things like cheese in a jar. Cheese in a jar? Yeah, you know, the little dipping cheese and the bean dips and all those kinds of things. Any of those convenience foods, like cheese in a jar, like the little packets of yogurt, like the um, little packets what? of chips. When you say little packets of yogurt, you mean those push-up ones? Yeah. Yeah. The little Lunchables, the little squeeze things. All of those things, I don't buy any of it. And I'm gonna do another video on things I don't buy, at, uh, foods I don't buy at the grocery store. But when you leave out those foods, they really add up. All these things on this list can add up to hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over a year if you stop buying them at the grocery store, especially things like the batteries and the bottled water and the pre-cut produce and the diapers and the cleaning products. Well, all of it. <laughs> Basically, thousands you're paying, of dollars. You, you could just go to a convenience store because you're paying a convenience store price. Yeah, yeah. And and you know you think oh today it's just not that much it's it's two dollars but if it's two dollars ten times a day every day it really adds up. Yep. So cut those things out and you will start saving thousands at the grocery bill at the grocery store and cut your grocery bill. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Please grab our Dining on a Dime cookbook to eat better and spend less without spending a lot of time. I only spend 15 minutes in the kitchen cooking dinner every night. We will see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe, and share.